The TR-3A Black Manta is a well-known U.S. government black project. The USAF expects it to be a stealthy tactical reconnaissance and laser target designation aircraft. It is thought to be a development of the Lockheed F-117 Nighthawk and Lockheed Have Blue, with its all-black triangle shape and angular facets flying in formation with the F-117A during the first Gulf War, indicating targets for the stealth fighter's laser-guided bombs. It has been published in AWNST and Popular Mechanics. A tiny group of civilians is using commercially accessible technologies to unmask the U.S. Defense Department's black-budget aircraft. First, Steve Douglas heard and saw familiar shapes, F-117s, which he had seen several times since they emerged from the black-budget realm, stealth fighters, which he had followed and monitored when they were still classified. Then there was one that was lower, with a distinct sound and form. Douglas's radio scanner crackled and the numbers on its screen churned. He was at the White Sands Missile Range, and the sky was densely packed with B-1Bs and F-15s. When he lifted his video camera, the battery warning light flashed. He just got seven seconds of footage before the machine shut down. The only documented evidence for such an aircraft is speculation based on many reported sightings of mystery flying wing aircraft above Antelope Valley, a desert area in Southern California. Because it is adjacent to many recognized military research and testing facilities, such as Edwards Air Force Base in California and United States Air Force Plant 42, this stretch of desert attracts persons interested in potential black project-related aircraft. The TR-3 was described as a subsonic stealth espionage plane with a flying wing. It was utilized to give laser identification for Lockheed F-117 Nighthawk bombers for targeting with laser-guided bombs. Northrop was said to have produced the TR-3. It's unknown how the TR-3 designation appeared in literature. The ER-2, NASA designation for U-2 aircraft modified for Earth science investigations, stood for Earth resources, not electronic reconnaissance. Therefore, it is definitely not a continuation of the R for reconnaissance series. The TR-3 might thus be a misspelling of Tier-3, the name given to a scrapped big reconnaissance unmanned aerial vehicle, UAV, flying wing planned around the period of claimed Black Manta sightings in 1988-1990. Tier-3-, minus, which culminated in the failed Lockheed Martin an RQ-3 Dark Star was a scaled-down variant of the original Tier 3. Because there is little evidence to support TR-3's existence, only sightings and experience stories from real people, as well as web discussions about it, the mysterious flying wing sightings associated with Black Manta could be a technology demonstrator for a potential new generation tactical reconnaissance aircraft. This claim is substantiated by U.S. Air Force USAF sources from the late 1980s, who confirmed that the U.S. had no immediate intentions to create a low-observable U-2 replacement. Another possible contender for the purported spy plane is a Teledyne Ryan design, which is patented in the United States on April 26, 1977, with the number 4,019,699. During 1991, Lockheed launched a concerted attempt to persuade Congress to fund a billion-dollar program to manufacture an extra 24 F-117A aircraft and acquire technology that would allow the F-117A to do reconnaissance missions. The aircraft would be upgraded to accommodate the ATAR's camera system in one weapons bay and a synthetic aperture radar, SAR, in the other. This palletized installation would allow the aircraft to be changed back to attack mode in around four hours. Although the Senate Armed Services Committee supported the idea, it was vigorously opposed by the Air Force, which finally won in withdrawing funds for the project. The planned reconnaissance variant of the F-117 has operating characteristics that are nearly comparable to those proposed for the TR-3A. This scenario unavoidably raises concerns regarding the TR-3A's existence. It's difficult to understand how Lockheed could be involved in a highly public dispute involving the Air Force and Sam Nunn, chair of the Senate Armed Services Committee, over the production of a reconnaissance version of the F-117A if the company was already producing a nearly identical aircraft, the TR-3A. While it is possible that this incident is explained by the Air Force's decision to cancel the TR-3A, and Lockheed was seeking to restart the F-117A manufacturing line as compensation, there is no evidence to support such a view. And such an assumption would contradict the claim that the TR-3A was already operational by the time of Desert Storm. Confirming prior reports, one Air Force source stated throughout the course of this episode, they attempted to sell this concept to the Air Force in 1987. The service was not searching for a stealthy reconnaissance aircraft at the time, and it is also not looking for one now.
Based on this record, the TR-3A's existence must be regarded as suspect, unless one is willing to accept the proposition that the entire episode, involving a large number of senior government and corporate officials, was merely part of an elaborate cover and deception operation designed to conceal the TR-3A's existence. The existence of mystery aircraft such as the TR-3A means that some item in the defense budget might be argued to be related with the program. An accounting that is not hard to do implies an identifiable source of financing that may be assigned to the TR-3A stealth aircraft program. The presence of this budget item considerably strengthens the case for the continuation of this program. Prior to 1989, the B-2 Advanced Technology Bomber was funded mostly through an Air Force aircraft procurement line item called Other Production Charges. This line item was aggregated in a budget activity called Aircraft Support Equipment and Facilities, which included things like common ground equipment, which was budgeted for about half a billion dollars in the mid-1980s, as well as war consumable and industrial responsiveness. During this time period, the similar Navy budget action contributed nearly half a billion dollars for common ground equipment. However, while the Navy allocated approximately $50 million for other production charges, indicating that there is something that actually consists of other production charges, whatever such a miscellaneous category might encompass, the Air Force allocation for other production charges peaked at more than $3.5 billion by 1987. This enigma was answered with the fiscal year 1989 budget, which released declassified spending information for the B-2 for the first time. Other production charges decreased by roughly $2 billion over the previous year. However, the solution to this issue revealed an enigma. Even without the stealth bomber, other production charges got more than $1 billion in 1989 and roughly half a billion dollars each year following that. The House Appropriations Committee verified in 1992 that the remaining activity in this account included sensitive activities when it indicated that the rationale for its $118 million cut from the $686 million request was classified. A detailed examination of the Air Force budget reveals no other program of equal scope that could account for this amount of expense. All other significant Air Force programs, including the Advanced Tactical Fighter, Milstar, and the Advanced Cruise Missile, have distinct and recognizable budget line items. While money for the F-117A program was most likely included in other production charges in the early 1980s, current activity under that program is incongruous with a half-billion-dollar yearly procurement expense. The most current budget amount for the other production charges line item strongly suggests an ongoing program to acquire more stealth aircraft, which is consistent with published details of the TR-3A program. This link is increased further by the size similarity between the financing level of other production charges and the cash flow stream and employment at Lockheed Aeronautical Systems Group. If more money is going into a company's coffers that can be justified by the number of airplanes or other hardware produced, it may imply that some project is being funded that the general public is not aware of. Financial analysts, for example, published sales predictions for Lockheed's Aeronautical Systems Group in 1988 that substantially exceeded any income justified by the firm's recognized programs. According to one study, Bernstein and Company gave Lockheed revenues for stealth programs that increased from $563 million in 1982 to $1.12 $6 billion in 1988, leveling out at $752 million yearly from 1990 to 1992. Another study found that Lockheed's Aeronautical Systems Group, situated in Burbank, California, received more than $1.1 billion in federal financing in 1988 that cannot be traced back to any recognized program. There are also more automobiles in the division's parking lot than can be accounted for by staff of recognized projects, implying the existence of a new and covert initiative. Despite the completion of TR-1 and F-117A production and YF-22A prototype building, Lockheed's advanced development section is said to employ over 4,000 people. While manufacture of the F-117A stealth attack aircraft has been finished, it has been alleged that Lockheed's systems company in Burbank, California is still consuming up to a billion dollars every year. Lockheed's income from secret aircraft programs were around $400 million in 1991. According to our examination of Lockheed Skunk Works Advanced Development Company sales, despite the conclusion of the production part of the F-117A and TR-1 projects, Skunk Works revenues have remained rather solid. Lockheed authorities, on the other hand, refute these accusations and propose a logical explanation for the financial inconsistencies. According to Ben Rich, president of Lockheed Advanced Development Projects Company, the Skunk Works, I've heard and read about Aurora, but I'm not sure what it is. And it's not what we're doing here at Skunk Works. There are several programs available many of which are sensor programs, and that is where our knowledge comes in. 
Despite these denials, it is worth noting that the nearly half billion dollars in unexplained Lockheed income closely matches the half billion dollars in unexplained other production charges. That's it for now, folks. If you like our video, please subscribe to the channel and let us know in the comments if you believe the stealth jet is real or a fake. Also, please press the bell icon for any future updates. See you in the next one!